Hello, this is Glenda with Freylands and Friends. I'm going to be showing you just some quick little fast bits <laughs> and some snapshots of how I got to this point now. And I'm going to save the rest of the time for painting so that you can see me paint him. So here is our raven. There's his feathers and his wing feathers and tail feathers. The rest are just kind of, that's a little bit of that bonding stuff. I made him some eyes. He's got that hooked bill. And he had some nostrils. Yeah, they're still there. <laughs> and I even did him some talons down here and I tried to make some little those kind of ones in the rear that help him balance so before he falls apart with all these fine little pieces completely I want to get him in the bake hello everybody meet our raven ah I've got to be very careful with him because those wing or those <laughs> wings, those feathers, these big long feathers, are very brittle. I think I made him a little thin, <laughs> but I don't know if I'd have made him too much heavier. They'd have just been heavy and probably still would have broken easily so we're just going to be very easy handed and then probably I'm going to have Joe put him in 
when he's dry, I'll have Joe put him in the cabinet for me where we can have a nice look at him without ever having to touch him. <laughs> Except maybe to blow a little dust off of him with, with a can of dust spray. So, we are going to try to paint him without ruining him. I know I could add and rebake, but who wants to? That's not the idea. Besides, then I'd just be in the same scary situation again. <laughs> oh, there are some times when it's late at night like this, and I've been laboring on this guy for hours, and I come in here, and it's like... Uh, do I finish him now? Of course I give it a try. I'm I'm think I'm doing great. I'm still in the beginner stages and look at that. That's a good indigo color. I think I might look into ordering one of those covered glass things, but it's going to have to be big for this guy. He's big. I'm glad I don't have to do a whole lot of different colors. More than I might probably end up being more than I think. We touch this guy only by the rock, <laughs> only by the rock. Well, that feels feather, <laughs> practically feather thin. It's not, well, it might be. It's just not hardened feather. Well, feathers aren't this, they're not baked hard like this. I don't know what I'm saying. I am so nervous. Look under here. Oh. The thing I'm afraid of is my shakiness. Because I shake so, so bad. And one bad jerk from me could spell disaster for our... And I'm putting... Look, I already chipped the tail. Dang it. I'm not going to try... I'm not going to worry about getting under those... <laughs> on the inside of those feathers. Jeez. Someone with an easier hand might have, but I just don't dare.
There's the problem. You're gonna if I don't paint under there, it's visible. What do I do, guys? Well, for tonight, I'm just doing the outside. If I can manage to figure out dry brushing technique, I might go over this with some gray for the dry brushing. Bring out more of these. But I don't want to leave them the beige color. These little points and holes and stuff. You are a scary bird. <laughs> yes, you are a scary, scary bird. Maybe I should have had Joe get some spray paint <laughs> to do this guy. We'll get him. We will get him. We will get him painted. I, I am going to. We are going to get him painted. talking about with me. I didn't realize quite how delicate I made these feathers. I knew I made them thin, but wow.
Ugh. If I'd done them all first. Still been. Uh, I don't know. He's just delicate. That's all there is to it. I wanted to make him realistic. I knew he'd be delicate, and I knew I'd be shaking. I'm just hoping. <laughs> to get the underside. See, this here is solid right here. It's the feathers that are delicate. This supports the feathers, but not the little bits that stick out. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you... Sorry, I get everything in the way. I hope you appreciate, maybe that'll save some of the moisture in there. I hope you appreciate our bird. Give you another peek. And I'm going to leave him on this side to take a snap. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oopsie. <laughs> Thank you for sticking this out with me, and there is more to go. I do want to take some time with this guy. I think I painted a little fast tonight. And he needs a little, he needs a delicate touch. I may have Joe do some of it, because he's got a much more delicate touch. And he knows how badly I shake. So if I give him an idea of what I want him to do, he will do it. I hope. And hopefully we will do at least one scrapbook page tomorrow. So you've seen our raven at the point that he is. He's not finished, but he's on his way. <laughs> Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and click that notification bell. My thumb's all blue and black tonight, but it's not bruised. <laughs> my ego, maybe. <laughs> no, if anybody had bruised my ego, it's me, because this bird is so delicate. I know that's my fault. Don't look at me like that, you dumb bird. <laughs> Please share, and we'll see you tomorrow.